What's up guys and welcome to episode 10 of our Football Manager series, Harrogate Town to Glory. Hope you're all doing well. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to like. And if you are new, subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on so you don't miss a video. Now, we've played about 12 games since our last episode, so a lot has happened as always. So we'll get straight into it. Now, we are flying. I'm not going to lie. It's been insane. Like, we'll get... As you can see in the table, we are currently in third place. Uh, three games in hand, and we are eight points behind Wickham in second. So, we're, if we could win our, all our games in hand, we could chase the promotion places. Like, that automatic promotion place. Now, there is only three points separating all the teams in the playoffs. So, you know, Peterborough have got two games in hand as well. So, it's it's going to get very tight at the end of the season. As you can see from the fixtures, we have played a lot of games, especially cup games, actually. Like, we did really well in all the cup competitions this year. We got to the EFL Cup quarterfinal, final, as you saw in the last episode. And we got to the EFL Trophy quarterfinals as well. We lost to Arsenal under 23s on penalties in that. And we managed to get to the FA Cup fourth round, where we did play Liverpool at Anfield, which... We, uh, guttingly we lost 1-0 we played really well we didn't have a lot of chances but that game has dramatically improved the finances like we've made two million pounds this month which is it's pretty insane because that is literally our overall balance as he, obviously it's january as well so the transfer window is in action now as you can see there richard Nati rejected a bid he's not happy um he wants to leave Sadly, he's our best player. I'm not going to let him leave for anything less than a couple of million, really. I had to I had to blag it in um, the chat with him and said that I'll accept any bid of over 1.2 million. Now, I haven't had that yet, so hopefully hopefully he, uh, hopefully he, we can keep him at least till the end of the season. Like, Hibernian and Cardiff now are interested as well, so uh, teams in the upper divisions... Are after him, it, I, I just hope we can keep him for this season, and then we can get promoted, and then he'll want to stay. So we're we're flying. Oti's got eighteen goals for the club. Like the form, the form is good. It's not it's not perfect, but like it's it's crazy good. Like Asante bro after breaking his duck in the last uh, last episode, if we look at his form, like he had like a f massive run of like yeah seven seven goals in like eight eight nine games, which. Seven goals in eight nine games is pretty, really really good return for an 18, 19 year old, and obviously Oti's absolutely smashing it. Keeps scoring worldies. You love to see it, right? So today we've got for you a big promotion clash between Harrogate Town and MK Dons. Uh, currently in fifth place, they beat us last time one nil. I think they scored in like the ninetieth minute, which is, was pretty gutting. Um, and we also play Blackpool, which I, I think is one of our games in hand. They're currently sitting in 13th place, so I, I, what can I say? Hopefully we can get a result there. As Obviously, it is January as well, so transfers have happened. So we have signed one player. We signed Josh Pask from Coventry City, centre-back cover. Now, I originally signed him for cover, well, to replace Will Smith, who had handed in a transfer request. He wanted to leave. And uh, he was annoyed that he wasn't playing first team football. Sunderland came in with a bid for him for about 250k. So I was like, yeah, except because he's only worth like 90k. And then he was like, no, nah, I don't want to go to Sunderland. Which, to be fair, no one wants to really play for Sunderland, do they? Like, they nearly got relegated last season in this, in this save. So, um, yeah. As you can see as well, transfers out. We have sold quite a few of the club legends. Now, Warren Burrell, I didn't want to sell him. Exeter came with a bid for 8k, so I let him go. He was in his last year of his contract. I kind of wanted to keep him because he's a really good utility player. But, yeah, I begrudgingly accepted that one. Uh, Jack Muldoon was never going to play for us. He's obviously, he's reached his peak. Oh, he's, he's past his best now, clearly. So, Grimsby came in with 2k. His contract was up as well. Giles Phillips hasn't played. Signed, on, signed for a free in the summer. Hasn't played at all. And so we let him go to Lincoln for 20k because he didn't he didn't want us I didn't really want to keep him really that's partly why as well why we signed Josh Pask. 
and Ryan Fallowfield as well. Got 10k for him. Contract was up at the end of the season. More of the same, really. Yeah, we got 10k for him, so better than better than nothing. And we freed up quite a lot of uh, wage budget as well, so we've currently got 6k to manoeuvre with. Cardiff City make Richard Nati offer. They must be having a laugh, right? His asking price is 1.2 million. They have bidded 86,000. I'm rejecting it. Right, so here we go. MK Dons, I'm happy with the team right now. Will Smith still is... Uh... Wait, what? Wants to join Sunderland as they're a bigger club. This this is the man that didn't want to join Sunderland a couple of days ago. Wants to play against MK Dons because he's concerned about the amount of first team football he's been getting. Like, honestly, this, this guy has played literally every game in the last 10, 15 games. And he's, he's pissed off about the amount of first team football he's getting. I, I really, I, I really can't, I can't win. I, I can't win at all. He needs to go. Right, let's get on to the game. Big start needed, hopefully. Hopefully we can get a nice early goal. Of course, uh, MK Dons have got Liam Delap as well on loan from Man City. So hopefully, hopefully he doesn't do anything. Barnby as well started to start like every game in the middle. I think it's because obviously he's not a loan player. So he gets into the team a lot easier. Calvin Miller. Oh, he hits the post. Oh, we should be scoring that. That's a criminal miss, is that? Should be burying that there. Nazi can't clear properly. What was I saying about Liam Delap? Another thrown in a dangerous area. Power across to Miller. Heads it wide. We're all over him. Been a, we just haven't taken our chances at all. 1-0 down at the break. Like We really need to be taking our chances in this game. Like This, this is pretty much going to decide if we can stay in the playoffs or not. Just want to get that ball in the box, but it's... It's not going to be, apparently. Miller heads over again. Ramsey wins the ball in the middle. He's not got far, though. Defender's uh, got him covered. Power. No, oh, man. His shot's blocked. It's going to make the one change in midfield. Jack Barnby off for Adam Phillips. Probably going to bring Cashman on as well for Miller, actually. Gonna go more direct. Phillips plays the ball in. There we go. Simon Power with the equaliser late on. 79th minute. Big goal. Big, big goal. Get in. Can we can we go on and sneak and uh, sneak the winner? You know what we'll take that. One all against MK Dons. From the position we were in, it's it's a it's a alright result. Now the amount of chances we had in the game was horrific. I'm just glad we managed to score. Like, we should have won the game there. But we were, I won't say we were, we were unlucky. We just weren't clinical at all. We do drop to fourth in the league, but it's a solid result. Like, MK Don's a fifth. Well, they were fifth, sorry. We were third. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's a good result. Obviously, as well, it is the end of the transfer window. Now, I don't know if we actually do need to sign anyone. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm quite happy with the team right now. Obviously, a lot of players have gone out. We'll see what happens, though, when in three days' time, Richard Natty uh, gets really annoyed that I haven't sold him. I just hope we can get a nice result against Blackpool. Like, the, the bids that we're getting for him just aren't good enough. Like, 175000 I'm sorry, but no. The, the man is worth more than that. We're getting absolutely swindled if people tr people are trying to get him for 100, like 130k. It's just not good enough. 1.2 mil or GTFO. Oh god. Oh, they've bid more. 170k, 245k. Oh, it's increasing. He's still not going. Can we keep Richard Nati at the club? Oh god. It's only quarter past one. Do you reckon I should just go on holiday until tomorrow? No, actually no, because then the board will probably like. Just try and sell him. 350k. Bloody Lorient really want him. On loan? Don't be silly. I don't want to say I want 1.2 mil for him in case they actually bid it. I'm just gonna keep I am just I'm just gonna keep on rejecting the uh the offers. Oh man, they've bid it again. They've gone back down to 120k. 425. Oh god, they're getting a lot. 
Right, it's it's quarter past seven. We're nearly there. It's quarter past eight. They've stopped bidding. Yes, <laughs> get in. Right, we've kept hold of Richard Narty. That is the biggest part of the window. Finances are secure. Current in income for the month, though, was £2 million. That's nice. OT gets player of the month. Five goals from five games. It's two assists as well. You'd love to see it. And we got runner-up for manager of the month. I still, I don't know how many manager of the month awards I've actually won. I don't think I've won any. I got manager of the year last season and I got one manager of the month in November. I must have, I must have had about four or five runner-up. I want some recognition for my uh, amazing feat. Right, so here we are. Final game of the episode. We have Blackpool at home. Hopefully, I really hope we can get a result here. Like, we, we, the team is absolutely knackered, so it's going to be a little bit of a second string side playing here, which kind of makes me a little bit nervous, but I, I feel like we can get the job done. Let's get uh, straight into it. We'll see if we can get a result. We've made eight changes. Oh, it's not good. I don't like having to play two days a week, that's for sure. Not right now. We just need a nice early goal. That's all we need. Two yellows in the first minute. Here we go. Dangerous free kick. Adam Phillips, Asante heads over the bar. Jack Barnby has the ball at the edge of the box. He's not going anywhere, though. Asante's made the interception, though. Watson, can he get a ball across? Cashman's there at the back post. Come on. What a man. What a man. He's flying his Cashman. What's the keeper doing? Are you having a laugh? That's, that's got to be a, a game engine bug, right? Oh my days. He just stood there and watched the ball, like, fly past him. Not much is happening in the second half. Definitely a couple of subs needed, I think. Not looking great. Could be another one-all draw, this one. Not great. Not great at all. Oh, you love a last-minute highlight. Can we get a chance? Tom Field. Saunders has it, edge of the box. Or Sanders, sorry. I've said I've I've bloody been saying the wrong name for Yonks. Ten I Watson has just scored a worldie in the 90th minute to clinch the game. Oh, well, I hope clinch the game. Two one up. Come on, get in. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, we've got away with that one a little bit, but it's it's still a solid result versus a good team. You love to see it, right? I think that puts us up to third in the table. Yeah, it does. Third in the table, 31 games played. Teams around us have played 33. Uh, we're on 60 points compared to them on 67 and 69. So hopefully we can be there at the end of the seat up there at the end of the season. We'll see. Anyway, if you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to drop a like. And if you are new, subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay safe. Have a great rest of your day and 